Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. So I have a pretty disgusting Battlegrounds build for you guys. I'm not gonna lie, Serial's been kind of driving me crazy here lately. So I jumped in some Battlegrounds with me and then your boy Deltia. We turned some kids up and I'm gonna tell you what guys, I'm absolutely in love with this build. So let's get into it. We're gonna have some gameplay floating around, maybe scattered intermittently throughout the video just to kind of show you guys uh, what this build's really capable of. So um, here's our character sheet, everything completely unbuffed. We got our back bar here. We got 33k resistances, 30k physical resist as well. And if you want to uh, bolster those even further, here's kind of what our spell damage is looking like. On the front bar, we get around 5,000 spell damage. You get 25% critical strike is pretty good. Free resist is pretty high as well. Now this is a BG's build, so naturally you need a little bit more health than you would uh, normally have in your open world builds. So. We are a Briton for this. Uh, you can run literally whatever class. It kind of depends if you want to run this build solo or if you're in a pre-made group. Now there are two different variants of this build. I will go over the first one, what I personally use, and a secondary one if you want to have a little bit more utility for your team. So we have the Lover Mundus. You can swap this to whatever if you need the Astro for more sustain. Um, that's totally on you. But Deltia was keeping me healed up pretty much all the time, so I didn't have to worry about uh, my healing whatsoever. So. In hindsight, you should probably, if you want to run this solo, you should probably run this, uh, an atro here. So, since we're running, play break. Now, play break, and this slaps in BGs. Now, this is one of the most fun sets I've ever used. Like, usually I'm not too much of a fan of play break, but in BGs, guys, there's always one or two dedicated Templars. This eats them up. Like, it is amazing. Not only is this, does it proc when they cleanse it, but it also procs when they die. So if you're able to get those really juicy burst combos off, I mean, it, it really goes up pretty high on the tooltips here. I think it goes up to like around 10K, something like that. Yeah, when everything's fully buffed, it goes up to around 10K uh, with our Molten Fury procs and stuff. So it's got pretty decent dot damage over time, but the explosion hits like a Mack truck from your words of your boy Deltia. So uh, so we do have a Sword Nernhone, and then also we have a Charged Mace. This will give us Spill penetration from the dual passive skill line and charge is just best in slot on mag dk if you can put one trait charge man go for it we got disease enchantment for the for the defile and then we'll also have a flame enchantment because every now and then we can proc the burning sass effect with just lie attacks on a front bar now this set i would not change for the utility build or the the group build but the back set the uh, the back bar set i will change so personally if you want to be greedy you can run iron blood this I know I praise this on every single build I run, guys, but this works even better when you're in Battlegrounds. It really does. Like, you, this flat mitigation is just so clutch when it comes to saving you, okay? So we have a defending trait on this, weapon enchant increase on the back bar. This also helps our healing, don't forget. And then the mythic we're running, we're actually running Sithis. So Sithis is low he amazing on the magic of drag knight especially if you're like me and you, and you like running a lot of well-fitted pieces instead of sturdy for blocking man i'm probably going to adopt this in my open world build as well sith this is absolutely amazing it gives you a lot of health which you absolutely need for battlegrounds uh the health recovery is kind of wasted that it's okay it does give you 4,000 armor at all times but, and of course the downside of running sith this is your block mitigation is zero well in when you're in these sweaty bgs guys our elo is tough like we did the matches and not one time did we hit the deathmatch kill threshold like our matches only went to like 300 points because no one would die everyone was just so tanky everyone was you know playing on a super high level right some of the battlegrounds we had over 5 million damage on this build so it's definitely effective so sit this is so clutch to run guys you gotta give it a try uh, we have a one piece magnet incarnate uh, this is again just for the uh, recoveries because you do need a little bit more recovery compared to our open world build play break we have everything in pen um, you can potentially roll these as well fit it as well and then we have a two piece trainee, one on the body and then also one on the jewelry. Ideally you want this to be infused spell damage or infused bloodthirsty. You can run either or here. Uh, on these two rings, uh, ideally you'd want one infused spell damage, one infused bloodthirsty and then one infused cost reduction. The cost reduction is absolutely amazing in battlegrounds if you guys haven't tried it, especially on your magic of drag knight. Give cost reduction a chance instead of your recovery. So when your actions per minute are really, really high, like if you're constantly spamming spells, like you know, over applying buffs, 
if you're a person who does that who just has to use an ability off cooldown like off your global cooldown please run cost reduction otherwise you might be able to get away with recovery but cost reduction is just by far the best trait you can spec into here so backbar say if you do not want to run iron blood and you feel like a potato and you can't get anywhere and you need a little bit more mobility please run kind marchers on your back bar the whole time you're going to be up in people's face anyway with plate break so plate break and you purge it damages you well if you run kind marchers every eight seconds if i have a set here on me i think everything's in my bank apologies fellas but uh, i'll toss it up on the screen what kind marchers does essentially anytime you uh, deal damage you apply a major debuff to your, to your enemies it's essentially an anti digit trickery set instead of being a complete solo set uh, this is a group utility so uh some some of the perk some of the debuffs are absolutely amazing like major cowardice like major breach major vulnerability these things absolutely slap in battleground so please give time marshers a try on your back bar it's actually really really good and if they purge it well they're gonna be punished because you're running play break so let's go over the skills we're running now i opted to go with uh, a crit variant of this now you do not necessarily have to run a uh, the molten whip the molten whip is this is here this is such a surprise factor so let's go ahead and go over the other skills so we have engulfing flames fossilized um arguably you can run shattering rocks if you think you need a little bit more of a heal running flames of oblivion on our front bar now this is what we use as our spammable this is our main spammable. It hits three people. It's going to apply the burning stats effect about 50% of the time. So your sustain is going to be through the roof. We have burning embers. This is just a really good dot plus a really good heal. We have ferocious leap to close out the skills because pretty much every single death or every single match I've been in BGs, I've been death match and ferocious leap is really, really good about sniping those kills from people. And then we have Molten Whip. Again, you want to use this as more of a pseudo execute when you see someone around 50% health. This is when you want to toss that out. Preferably not before unless you're just pressuring someone into the ground, right? Um, this doesn't always crit and you could argue that running Malakanth would be better. But I really like Molten Whip over Power Lash because you need to burst people. If you're in the high, super high elos, which I am, people are really on point you're, you're never going to burst someone solo you have to have some sort of burst coming in in order to catch people off guard and molten whip does just that i hit a few 14k whips when this actually crits even though my crits only like 25 percent chance in battlegrounds it's okay but like when this crits oh my god it's it's beautiful to behold so back bar uh, we're running degeneration this is our source of major sorcery coagulating blood rapid regen you should probably swap this to the other version of mutagen um, that heals three other people because rapid regen it's only going to heal one other person and the odds are of it going to you is super super low it's going to go to a pet this one go to an enemy right so you're better off slop slotting the other restoration morph that hits three targets instead of just you so we have volatile armor and then we have channel acceleration this is our flex spot on the back bar use channel acceleration just to beef up our crits as much as possible and this also works really well with the kind markers build because sometimes you have to get out of the way you just do um you can either run channel acceleration or race against time the preface is entirely up to you the whole point of me running this was to increase the duration of minor force up to 36 seconds which also gives you 10 percent more grip so and then back bar, you either want to run Shifting Standard or Corrosive Armor. Uh, again, if you want to play more selfishly, go for Corrosive Armor. This is how you get your really, really huge Molten Whip crits. But if you need more group utility, you know, there's a bunch of Healy Wars, there's a Warden and a Templar on the other team. Or a Necromancer and a Warden on the other team. You kind of need Standard, right? You, you need to offset that healing reduction. Earth Guard procs are super annoying. Like Breath of Lives is super annoying. So any sort of healing reduction you can toss on the build is a win that's where kind marchers comes into play too so kind marchers has major defile that rips too not gonna lie so champion points not gonna matter since this is a battlegrounds build but if you wanted to transition this into an open world build of which you most definitely can um i would run fighting finesse deadly aim master arms and then ironclad and on your red tree you'll want to run survival instincts relentlessness pain's refugee sustained by suffering green tree doesn't matter right um, the potions we are using are the expensive try stat potions. Now, you do not necessarily have to run these potions, right? Um, if you do want to run these potions, 
Um, they do give you minor heroism, which is a pretty good for your sustain on the magic of Dragonite. So, um, you make these by running Dragon's Blood, Dragon's Rum, and also Columbine. But, if you want to run a more basic potion, if you want to run the Alliance Spell Drow potions, which is also my next suggestion, it gives you crit on the, both bars, it gives you major sorcery, and it also gives you a source of magic recovery. That's really good because it will free a slot up on your back bar, which means you can run Eruption instead of Entropy. And the beauty about running an infused cost reduction, look at the cost on Eruption. So this is now a, a channeled ability essentially, it drains magic per second. Well, if you run one infused cost reduction, it only costs you 48 magic a second to keep it up. And it hits really, really hard. So let's kind of take a look at what it's hitting for on tooltip, right? So on tooltip, I mean, this is hitting for 8,000. This is not every two seconds, this is every one second. So you can imagine when you're in a huge group of people, you know, everyone's gonna be turtled up and healing. You drop down a standard, you drop down an ash cloud. So your standard alone, right? I think it does like double this. It does like 3,000 a second, something of that na that nature. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, not everything completely buffed. It does 4,600 per second. So you stack this on top of ash cloud. People's gotta get out of that. Like, they absolutely just have to get out of this or they're gonna get melted, so. This has been the build, guys. Really hope I have, or Future Horcrux has the editing of some of the gameplay here in the background. Again, I ran this with Delta. I meant, it, it was fun. It was super high skill games. I did not have any problems with it. Plague Break comes in absolutely clutch. I love this set for Battlegrounds. It's really, really fun watching people pop when they, pur when they purify or when they just die in general, so. Yep, uh, this is the build, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And also, please give a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members. You guys are absolutely amazing. I could not be doing this without you. And if you want to join Horcruxes, the YouTube community, or a Patreon, I have all that in the description down below. It comes with PvP coaching, shoutouts, and all my videos. You hit me up in private Discord channels all that fun stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, all that's down below and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.